it's me, Terry, with another word of encouragement for today, Monday, December 7th. Today's verses are found in Luke 2, verses 4 through 7, and they say this. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger because there was no guest room available for them. So the backstory to this is that the governor of Syria had commanded that everyone go back to the town where they came from. And so Mary and Joseph had to travel 80 miles to Bethlehem. My daughter-in-law happens to be nine months pregnant today. So just imagine if I were to call them up and say, hey guys, I realize that grace is due any day now, but you're gonna to need to hop on a plane um, because our governor has decided that you need to come register in person to where Gordon's from so that you can pay taxes. It would take them over a day to get here, but that's not even close to how long it took Mary and Joseph. It probably took them more like a week to travel by donkey to Bethlehem. But those circumstances were allowed by God because it had been prophesied that the savior of the world would be born in Bethlehem. But Mary and Joseph lived in Nazareth. So it was because of what the government did that brought them to Bethlehem so that Jesus could be born exactly at that time in Bethlehem. Mary's life was disrupted when an angel revealed to her that she would give birth to the savior of the world. And then nine months later, it was disrupted again when she had to make this donkey ride and give birth under really difficult circumstances. It's also been nine months since we were sent home to, in an effort to eradicate a disease that is still with us. You've probably had moments of fear, moments when you've wondered about your income, moments when you've wondered if you or a family member will get COVID, wondering, um, if you will ever even see certain family members again. You, you may be angry with all the rules imposed by the government right now, angry maybe even with God. But let me encourage you with this truth today. Whatever is happening to you or around you right now, it's a part of what God is unfolding. It's part of your story. It's a part of your journey with Jesus. Every interruption in your life is a means that God can use to bring you face to face with your savior. Have a great day, friends. We'll see you next time.